<laughs> Coconut nectar. Good day. It's out here and I decided to vlog today. Mimi is probably surprised. I'm always surprised when you pull up a camera. <laughs> She's like, why is the camera here? <laughs> I'm never wearing makeup if I'm home. <laughs> it's Sunday and yeah, we're, we're cooking crepes. So, time. so I want to film because today's going to be fun. It's a little gloomy, hence the lights, um, but it's going to be good. Oh, the smell good. Strawberries. Yummy. Yeah, this is the batter that Mimi has already prepared. If you want to know the recipe, you can. I'll link it down below on Mimi's channel. But we'll see what happens. This is always an experiment when we do this. So the crepes are going, but. There's something off. Uh, we believe the coconut milk that we usually use changed their actual ingredients and consistency, so there's more water now. Because before it was pure, 100% coconut milk. So yeah, I don't know. So usually, it still looks all right, but it doesn't have the holes it usually does. You see here, it usually has, will have more holes, like the real ones. Yeah, it does not look the same. This used to be 100% coconut milk. It's kind of like non or something. And now it's 60% coconut milk and 40% water. That is not cool. That is not cool at all. <laughs> Are you doing pictures for us? You guys can put it in the, in the plates and then I'll like, I want a real picture, like in the moment, kind of. Can I eat in that real moment? <laughs> 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 yeah. That's what happens, you know? When when you have an Instagram account to upkeep, you gotta hustle. And I gotta eat. <laughs> there you go, wishing, floating down, I wish it. It's like I'm always causing problems, causing. I didn't mean to put you through this, I could. Mimi is continuing her styling. As you can see, the flower is already there. It's good though, dude. These are the crepes, the final product. Lulu, what are your thoughts? They're so good. They're way better than you think. You think they're just pretty, but they're actually so delicious. <laughs> they taste even better than they look, so they're delicious. That's awesome. I, I'm really, I really enjoyed myself as well. <laughs> Mimi's posting her boomerang with her kitty shirt. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Let me see the boomerang. Can I press on it? Yeah, I think you can press oh. on it. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, me and Lulu are just working away. Lulu, what are you doing? Are you working on a Sunday? <laughs> it's okay, the work doesn't stop. <laughs> business is 24-7. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Sometimes you have to work on a Sunday. Yeah, but we're, we're just waiting. It's a rainy day today. And I was gonna, I was gonna bike. However, I don't think... Maybe it stopped. Maybe I can wing it. Maybe I'll bike with an umbrella. <laughs> Let's see what happens. But we have to go, guys. We're late. Okay, let's go. Mimi, Mimi's very in her boomerang. So, I've decided to bike instead of taking the car with them. The rain kind of passed. There's still 30% of chance of rain. So we'll see what happens. But it's good to get some exercise instead of just sitting in the car. Can turn back the time to make it all alright, all alright for us. I promise to build a new world for us to with you in the middle. Just kind of all little topics. Like share with and the topics is yeah. like family stuff. Okay, my question is like, Naila is here as well. Yes, and I'm gonna vlog you on you too? right now. That's right. Uh, no, <laughs> but I was the only yes. one. <laughs> so we're vlogging, I'm vlogging. I should have brought my kid. She said it yeah. So we're picking dim sum. This is my first experience. Oh, sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you, you tell your story already? 
Did you vlog um, that? No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually walk to the store, buy a mask that I need for tonight. Oh, no. They have no idea what I'm doing yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I can actually story. show a little piece of what I'm gonna do. Oh no. Lulu, so tell us, what, what are we up to here? What are we choosing? Um, dim sum is like Chinese tapas. So like Spanish tapas or J Japanese as a kaya. Just a bunch of little dishes that you get. You share family style. People usually have it for brunch in Hong Kong. It's a lot of fun. I'm really excited for you guys to try it. Wait, so the, the, the place I took you is not, it's not like a traditional dim sum? No, no. The, the, the dim sum that I got in Toronto has plastic tablecloth <laughs> and, and plastic chopsticks <laughs> and just old Asian ladies pushing around food and cards but it's fun too you know so this we, is we thought for our first experience we would go a little high end but this is not what you're supposed to do I don't want you to be biased yeah. And are you excited for your first dim sum experience? Well, it's my oh, second dim sum okay, experience. It's my, it's my first. But before, somebody else would order for me, so I never got to actually properly look at the menu. Well, it's kind of like, we were kind of order for us. Yeah, yeah, but like, I didn't even look at some? the menu. <laughs> Funny. Alex the stole eye. Naila's bike. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Alex, this is too baby. small for you. <laughs> no, I Give it back. It's too small. I think if you adjust the seat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the it one. Looks, it looks very funny with Alex on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> it's one standard size. Well, the brakes are actually the reverse brakes. Yes. And then you have this brake as well. But this one's weak. Yeah, but I need to adjust it. It's cool. I like, like the bike. Right you gonna get yeah. one? Oh. Alright, we should get off oh. the road. It falls. Get off the road. How come you didn't get a cone? Because I got all over my, my legs one <laughs> time. They got oh. it with the cone. You want some? Oh. I got you a spoon too. Oh, thank you. Okay, fine. That's so kind. Oh, I like that they sprinkle it. Yeah. Time. Last time they did it. Mm. I'm not crazy about the sprinkles, but. The ice cream's good. Oh, sprinkles are the best. It got so bright out of the sun. Man, mm. the sun's coming out. So good. How do you feel about green tea ice cream? I love it. Like love I don't it. even need to ask Lola. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much, I'm holding it with both hands. <laughs> two times in two days. <laughs> Second time. It's like raining and it's sunny at the same time. What's going on? Raining. This is weird weather. My videos from San Francisco are not working because of the mic. <laughs> like Alex what? Number the, two. What, you don't have a mic. I use a different camera with a mic. Yeah. All right. Hopefully the mic works. Uh, so we're just eating some matcha ice cream. It's really good. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Mm, come on, we're not that close. Though. <laughs> <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> if she didn't have one, I would do it. <laughs> <Liar>. Basically. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, Lulu treated us to dim sum. That was really special. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate great. it. Yeah. It was, it was actually our first experience. I never had dim sum before. I don't know why we avoided it. Probably because I grew up uh, in Toronto and I used to hang out with Markham a lot. Yeah. And for some reason, like, I don't know. I didn't have a good experience there. But just. Dim sum. Yeah, <laughs> being around. I didn't even know. How do you know what dim sum is? Yeah. I'm saying I had a wrong. Nobody ever took us to dim sum. I had a wrong you, impression. Wrong impression of what it would be like. What did you think it would be like? Because because like in Markham where I used to hang out a lot when I was 11 years old selling flowers as an immigrant from Russia. <laughs> this uh, is going deep. <laughs> the story is going deep. Yeah, it is. No, what I'm saying, but it was like it was very new. And it's, I don't know if you've ever been, you've been in Markham in, yeah. in Toronto. Very strong smells. <laughs> and I'm not saying, hey, I'm like, I'm, I'm just being honest. And and then. I I'm, and then, and then I'm like, you know what, I don't know if they... Exotic smell. Because, because it was so new to me, because I was just, like I said, a Russian immigrant. I didn't like it, but but as I've... And that's what I love about being from Toronto, living in Toronto, that yeah. being so open to cultures so and different foods. Yeah. 
So I've become, over the years, I've become, Accustomed, especially yeah. after today, like, I think we're going to become regulars. Uh, you know? It's a pretty awesome place, I'll tell so, you that. So I th and so many dishes were gluten-free. They had lots of vegetarian, vegan dishes. Yeah. Like, whatever the diet is, you can find yeah. an option. And it's actually kind of like, uh, we, like Mimi and I actually really enjoy... Uh, Getting small portions and sharing everything. Yeah, yeah. family style of eating. Family style, that's yeah. what we like. So... Uh, I guess the, the main message that I want to share with you guys is that to, it's so important to be open-minded and don't let your first kind of impression totally turn you off by don't something. Don't let the smells turn you off. Or the smells, whatever it may be. This place... Don't judge a place by yeah, its smell. We, I, although, although, I must say, this is this is a fancy dim sum place we went to. Yeah, your so. expectations are really high now. It's not all like that, but it's good. <laughs> well, it was good. It was a good start. I think you have to... It has to be a good start, otherwise... You might never try it. You might never yeah. try it again, and then you'll be turned off. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Dim sum's awesome. We're gonna be back. We're gonna be back. We're doing these shots. We have a chance to actually have somebody hold the camera and not me hold it. So we're taking the opportunity to just hang out. I'm just overthinking feelings I can't. This got feeling I'm trying to get off me as. Back on the road, biking with the crew. Woohoo! Yeah. Whoa! Pigeons are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs>